Well, the way to go, I think, is through here. So we are going to fast travel. Yeah, I figured that, like, this this place, there's going to be more to it than meets the eye. There's obviously going to be something. And uh, I was thinking boss, but, um, yeah, that... Soldiers. Oh, well, Some of maybe. Voron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. All right. Oh, easy. Lay down your arms and no one has to get like, hurt. no, really, no, like, super easy. We got this. Like no big deal. Never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn so <laughs> Oh, hello. You're being rude to me. Admittedly, this isn't, like, the easiest fight in the world. There are four of them. Okay, I'm gonna make your life a living hell. That is a lot of damage. Nice. And yet, still alive. Okay. Yeah, I'm... It's interesting, because these... This should be an easy battle, and yet, I'm getting mildly annoyed by you. <laughs> Why are you, like, all destroying me all of a sudden? What's going on here? <laughs> it should be easy! Oh, please don't attack the one with, like, one HP. That would be tragic. You didn't! That's great! <laughs> Um, good game. Okay. Well, could have gone worse. Could have gone better, but, you know. What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. What's happening to her? I don't know when it happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out. Like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing us down. But that armor is also still good once you fix it up. Besides, better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpletons such as yourself who can't appreciate the true worth of such things is how precious art vanishes from history. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys. This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly, that's all. Oh. My deepest apologies. It appears that I may have rather overreacted. Yeah, I guess it's only natural we'd have so many souvenirs by now. I might have been out of line too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah, every little piece is its own treasure filled with memories. I think we should get rid Nicely of the blade and sword. We don't need it. There's no need for that. Tell me, Alfin. Wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, but I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Danon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Danon techniques, then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? 
There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles, too. It's incredible, and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler, only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly. He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. All right. Let's head on in. How dangerous do you think it's going to be? My guess is very. <laughs> Something but that's feels fine. Odd here. Be on your guard. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Volron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Volron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But... Yes, I suppose you're right. For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. How big is this place? Well, if that's all of it, not massive. But still, don't think it'll be easy. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, this theme has changed. Oh, man. That's kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting that. It's a, it's a nice surprise, I'll, I'll give it that. Oh yeah, they are absolutely going to be annihilated in a second. And let's go. Oh, no. Yes, there it is. Good job. <laughs> This is the power of the blazing sword! Yeah, I, I didn't think it would be that big of a deal. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. You've noticed it, haven't you? Notice what? I'm referring to Shion. I never thought you of all people would come to me about her. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenicus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Xion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed. And yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? <sighs> Alright. Certainly looking forward to finding out what's going on. I'll take this, whatever it is. Transcendent Pebble. 
Sweet. Go no further. Yeah, these enemies. I'm not worried. Like they were, they were like mildly challenging. I mean, even when they turn to stone, like they're not a big threat, you know. No, really. Like we are absolutely annihilating them. <laughs> I still can't get over how good this attack is. It's just so stupidly powerful. It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be a chest this way. This is the secret lands. Oh, boom! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm stunned. That's not good. Well. It's not great. I mean, Xion's helpful, obviously. Not necessary, though. Oh. Right, fine. Just annihilate it. Oh wow, it's been a while since we've done like an attack like that, but just ends it. Oh, love it. It's so good. Oh, hello. Might, might end it again. Whoa, that was rad. Yeah, it ended it again. Again, like... We, it's been such a long time since we've actually had that happen, like genuinely. Like... Usually, it's not the end of the fight at that point. I should probably try and actually. I see supplies and other signs people were living here. I should probably try and get Even some Google enemies. I'm like nice. Like it's the gonna be enemies in here, right? Yes, down. before the thing runs out. I just wanted to make sure I got my my abilities. I've gotta keep it going. Oh, I forgot that they do this. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. I'm not worried in the slightest. But unfortunately, I'm attacking the wrong one, but whatever. I would love to be able to kill you, but you're making it surprisingly difficult. Okay, game over. <laughs> they tried. This calls for a celebratory drink. What's in here? Sapphire One Piece. One Piece dress lined with sapphires, mysterious gems capable of protecting the wearer from astral arts that would otherwise harm them. We got some good equipment. That sounds cool. So that's for Shion, right? Yeah. Sure is. Okay. Why not? Can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. Rapid me. Oh, good. I guess if you don't, if you haven't like uh, raised them on the ranch, that's how you'll get some for that other side quest. I think our bonus is about to run out. Ooh, lucky pebble. Now that's really yeah. I thought so. Lucky pebble is really good. Uh, reason for that um, is because uh, if you want to get like a, an ability that boosts um, the uh, yeah, an ability that, uh, an accessory, sorry, that boosts, like, your luck, um, that's where you get it. Like, Lucky Pebble is, like, really good for that. They're quite rare, though, like, on the basis that I haven't, I haven't seen many, if any. I might have seen one before, but yeah, they are quite rare. That extra training paid off. We've still got two ranks for that. Oh, uh, he's got a thing I can get. Nice. Okay, which is the real way to go? Uh, wrong button. The real way to go is up there. Oh, and there's someone, it looks like someone who's, we, we need to use CP somewhere. So, that's good to know. No way an enemy's not showing up after this. Ah. Wait, really? Nothing? That is surprising. 
That's very rare that that happens. I mean, I won't complain, but that is rare. Hello. You, have, you say you have a bad feeling. I don't. Look, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we're good. Good game. Now, Lady Fortune must truly be watching over me. Let's tear it down. I was gonna say, good chest. Buff Bangle. Base of a boost all the way of stats each time they defeat an enemy, making anyone who. My what? Huh. So you've got. Man. I guess it would be good on you. I like the item drop rate though. You know what? Maybe it would be good on you. It's on enemy defeat though, but you're only losing 40 penetration. Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. Word. This must be the work of providence. That sounds very helpful. Now does that mean she specifically has to defeat them or anyone? Because if it's anyone, great. Oh boy. How much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renis Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. Do Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell. Are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenigus along with the wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure. But it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Xion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. Alright, this is where we came from, right? 
Yes, that is where we came from. Are we still in... Yeah, we're still in Gandalf Harris. Okay. Alright, well, let's go through this side. I mean, I figured it was that was too easy for it to be just that. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. Frozen Valley. Huh. That's the one we've been. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, there's the bridge. Okay, that's cool. Yes. Alright, that's great news. That is great news indeed. Genuinely delighted by this. I I'm delighted more on the basis that it's finally, like, filling in a gap <laughs> that I was unsure about. It's, it's good to have that. Right to me. Oh, there's a thing over here. It is a nice crystal. Awakening pebble. A lovely transcendent pebble as well. Lovely. The most delicious of pebs. I mean, I don't know why I'm calling it delicious. I don't think any pebbles really that tasty. I mean, admittedly, I've not tried to eat a pebble. Uh, mainly because I'm pretty aware it would break my teeth. I, I don't really need to try to, to know that little nugget of information. I want to put something to the test. I just want to kill an enemy really quickly. And I'm going to be me. Okay, so Rimwell's uh, hate, like, uh, stats didn't go up when I killed it. It has to be her. Uh... So the buffs that, Jesus Christ, the buff stone or the buff accessory, whatever it was, is better for someone. Um, yeah, it's better for someone who. Uh, who, like the, the character you're gonna play as because you're the one who's presumably gonna kill the majority If I can boost its stats and also give it some attack boost Then actually that'll be really good on me Because my biggest thing is I don't want to lose 90 attack. That's so much 15% is surprisingly a lot at this point but you know, it, it makes sure it makes a, a good job. So if I can end up a uh... oh wow, another lucky pebble and a gold chunk sold for a tidy sum, nice. Um, yeah, if I if I can manage to like, adjust it so that it gives me more stats, like attack boost, that would be amazing. And I'm definitely putting on alpha at that point. Because I'm honestly not going to get anything better. Well, I think that's very clear. All aboard the victory train! Overconfidence can bite you in the butt. I'll tell you what. Oh, that's nice. Um, this cave has been really nice in the sense that, like, it hasn't been too rough. Like, it's had a little, cu a couple of challenging battles, sure, but, like, generally speaking, this is just, like, really, I don't know, just mellow. Um, it's just nice. It's a nice change of pace because we have been through a lot. <laughs> But yeah, I think we're gonna have a lot of uh, side quests when we get back to the the mainland, and also um, we've also got the uh, the battles in the arena. Now that might be something I do off camera. Honestly, I'll do Alfin's level 41, but since all the characters are basically the same more or less, it's just like, hey, you, you're, you're doing a bit different character, and in my case, it's like a bunch of characters I'm not used to using. Um, it will take a while to do them, and I think it's just like, it's not really something that's 
necessarily that fun to watch. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. I'm aware that you're gonna yeah. <laughs> Oh, I actually got you before you now, but uh here I hope that was a No, I I mean you're even better than ever. I've never seen Shion actually flustered. I've never seen Shion actually flustered, apart from the last battle when they said the exact same thing. And the battle before that and uh, <laughs> you know, the battle uh, there was a battle before that even where she looked even more flustered than she does now. But I've never seen her actually flustered. Jesus. Nailed it. Well, good game. Well, since... Oh, there's a nice chest. A sapphire guard. Ah. My word. This must be the work of Providence. So we know that's gonna be for you. Not bad. Yeah, so Probably we're at the end. It means destiny. Wasn't that bad, honestly. This was really quick and really fun. It's nice. Nice change of pace. We made it to Cislodia. We need to get that bridge down somehow. It looks like we can control it from our side. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. And that's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be alright. Same here. Now let's get moving. Is there anything else around here besides, you know... The switch that needs to be pulled. Examine what? Oh, there was a lemon gel on the ground. I genuinely did not see that. I was genuinely thinking it was examining the door. Some potatoes. Um, whatever this is. Hexbreaker. Lucky pebble. Man, we're getting loads of lucky pebbles. Very much appreciate that. Might not be a bad idea for me to go back through that cave a bunch of times off camera. <laughs> Get as many pebbles as I can. We're home! Well, not home, but we're back! Feels Stop. bloody good. Can cross through here. Stop! Who goes there? My name is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? Slap me silly, it really is you! Forgetting someone? Rinwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back, as soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Heros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out. That'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? 
By boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. I sure never expected to run into Bregan. Cislodia's probably in good hands with him. Yeah, now we can focus on finding a ship. A boat, huh? Where are we gonna find one of those? It's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around. Especially not Renan's. For an Imperial power, they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion. Still, I dare say there should be the odd small vessel here and there. All well and good, but that structure is slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Harrows should be in good hands, at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other Resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. A knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait, do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Harrows would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second-in-command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menencia. Mahagsar will be the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is, let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, he'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we visited. That's true. And each and every connection we forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, let's focus on the task at hand. Alright, well... Now seems like a good time to end. Um... Where's it we're heading to exactly? Ah, wharf. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, oh, oh, there are many more requests. Okay, um, <laughs> yes. Uh, next time, um, we're gonna go to Tanker Pond Road to see if we can find a person. I'm gonna go to the palace, to the library, to give it a book, and I'm going to finally see if I can take down this Zugal. And when I discover it's too powerful, well, that'll be bad, won't it? But, uh, yeah, that's the plan, so I'll see you then.